following reports of illicit images circulating on social media over the past few days, where ladies dressed in what looks like underclothes are seen to entertain inmates here at Johannesburg Correctional Facility. The Department of Correctional Services on Saturday, 24 June 2017, when this was brought to our attention, we immediately initiate investigation to this serious allegations. According to the report we received on the preliminary investigation, the pictures taken were of an event hosted in line with June Youth Month celebrations on the 21st of June at Johannesburg Medium B Correctional Center. It involved external stakeholders were part of the program, including entertainment. However, it transpired that from the, uh, that the form of the entertainment as depicted on social media was not approved and not in line with correctional services policies and procedures, which are clear in terms of appropriate clothing and behavior when inside the correctional environment. The management of the event should have never allowed and immediately halted this type of explicit entertainment as pronounced by our policy. Therefore, there was a clear breach of security, of the security plan which was approved for the event, uh, that was provided to give guidance for the event as well as other policies and procedures. The type of conduct is unacceptable, particularly in a correctional facility where security, of, uh, security is of paramount importance for us uh, at correctional services. At this stage, the preliminary findings indicated that at least 13 officials will be served with letters of contemplation of suspension. The investigation is being led by a senior official on the level of a director who is not from Johannesburg management area. Following today's briefing on the preliminary investigation, the next report back is scheduled for Friday, 30 June 2019, where we will also be given an indication as to when the investigation will be completed. Uh, the Honourable Minister Masuta will be briefed accordingly. On behalf of the Department of Correctional Services, we want to apologise to the citizens of South Africa for this incident, which indeed is very disturbing. We will make sure that those found guilty face the consequences of their actions and also that sufficient measures are put in place to ensure that similar incidents are not repeating itself. Thank you.